speedometer isn't working, then stay tuned. Because today I'm going to show how to fix a speedometer that's stuck on zero. Now cars used to be simple. The speedometers had a cable that went inside the speedometer head and it spun and made the speedometer move. But modern cars stopped using speedometer cables over 20 years ago. Modern cars are all computerized. This is a speed sensor that bolts in the transmission and it sends electrical impulses to the dash to make the speedometer work. With such computerized systems, you use another computer, a scan tool, to analyze what's going wrong with the system. In the case of the Honda, we plug it into under the cigarette lighter where the data port is, right down in here, and it goes. Then we put the scan tool on data and watch the speed as we drive. In this case, the speed stayed at zero even though we were going at least 30, so I know the sensor isn't giving any information to the computer. So in this case, we'll replace the speed sensor. But if the scan tool was giving the miles an hour and the correct speed while we were driving, that would mean the speed sensor is working and probably the speedometer inside the dash was bad. Now in the case of the Honda, the speed sensor is hidden on the transmission way under here, so we got to take all this air duct work out of the way to even see it. We'll just pull this all out of the way, wiggle it and get it off. And there's a sensor hiding down inside the engine right there. I've unplugged the plug on the top of it so you can see it better. Here's a new one. It just has two little bolts you take off and pull it out. And out comes the old dirty one. The two to make sure they're the same. They got the same bottom and the same connector so it looks like the right part. Then you just get a little 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and bolt it back in. The electrical connection in until it snaps. Well, in this case, it didn't snap it so old, but it is on. <laughs> then we put all the plastic ductwork back on. Then we'll close the hood and take it for a drive. Off we go, and there goes the speedometer. It's working now. So the next time your speedometer breaks, why not fix it yourself? It's not that hard. And remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. Before it's too late.